Hi. It comes as no surprise that a mere 3% of MPs originate from a manual worker background. Nor that less than 9% of those involved in the creative arts are from a working class background. It's certainly even less considering the amount of middle class sharp elbowers masquerading as plebs to source the ever diminishing grants and bursaries and also to burnish their counterfeit images with recuperated street cred. Working class people have almost been completely and deliberately excluded from just about every single aspect of society over the past decades. Abandoned, neglected, blocked, ignored, demonised. There's no way we're going to be admitted into the portals of bourgeois middle class society on any level, apart from a handful of token individuals. We will only rediscover our artistic, musical and literary expressions, realise our creative abilities, given free reign to our imaginations under completely different circumstances from the present constricted situations arising from a period of revolutionary turmoil when the working class, the oppressed, the multitude of rejected find their voices on the streets in situations of defiance and conflict against the power. We are the creative class, musically, linguistically, despite our imaginations having been curtailed by the present system, which is sliding backwards into a form of elitist, regressive feudalism. We have nothing to gain by obedience and sucking up to politicians, celebrities, royalty and other so-called social superiors. We have to start from a position of absolute negativity towards the entire system and establishment, eventually going on to the offensive at every level. As the founding subversive figure of anarchism, Bakunin said in his pre-anarchist period in the 1840s, the passion for destruction is a creative passion too. Bye.